Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring to episode 37 of Hinogato Sky Pretty Curious. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No. <laughs> mm hmm Oh my god. Look at Anya. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. It's a good idea. It looks like oranges. Oh, the dragonfly! <laughs> right? I mean, they were babies at the time. Look at the chickens and the babies! Oh. <laughs> uh oh.
channel the goat. <laughs> right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, baby, so precious. <laughs> mm, still nothing. Oh, Al. It's okay, babe. So that'd be new memories. Not that hot. <laughs> that look good. <laughs> To be. You're right. The hat's in the tree. <laughs> That's that cog of your pride. <laughs> The eye catch! Oh, that's so pretty. It gives me like sugar, sugar room vibes.
Okay, so we gotta be close, right? Oh, dang. Oh, no. Oh, baby. Don't cry. Mm hmm. I figured she actually climbed up there. <gasps> Look at the squirrel! Oh no! <laughs> you okay? Uh oh. Aww. It's okay. Oh. Oh, they're using it as a little home. Oh, it's so cute. Right? Oh. That? Mm hmm Uh-oh. <laughs> Should we try again? I mean, it's obvious he would follow you like a dang stalker. <gasps> oh, fuck! <laughs> Beat the side of her hair. <laughs> oh, it's so good.
Nice dodge, though. I mean, you know, wouldn't it be smart for one of them to at least grab the spear and then, you know, try to get it out of his hands? Not two. Oh, God. Now he's dual wielding. Oh. <sighs> Of course, you would say that BS. I mean, we are almost done with the show. We kind of need to know why. It's not only just for L. Oh. That sounds like a dog right there. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> right? You're the one who sneezed. <laughs> it's cute, though. Okay, still seeing them get all these memories and stuff together in every single episode, it just makes it harder and harder for the fact is that we're getting closer to the end of this show and getting closer to the new series and the fact is that they're going to have to say goodbye to each other and it just hurts. It just reminds me of when in the beginning when it looked like Sora and Machido were going to have to be separated but due to some things. Like, yes, they're not going to be separated but... It still hurts. Like, oh my god, I'm not ready to experience this because <laughs> I don't want to cry. I love this group so much. Like, regardless, I love all the pretty care groups. Regardless, love them all. And it always hurts when we get to, like, the last few episodes and, you know, their journey as friends and everything comes to an end and that, you know, it's going to be over and such and you don't want it to be over. And I'm just like, I don't want it. I don't want to move on. I want to stay here. I want more episodes and such. But, you know, all good things must come to an end. But this episode was sweet for both Machido and Aria. I mean, to really show the birth of their relationship slash friendship and stuff was really nice. I mean, it, it mm, God, I wish we could have more like that. And so I hope in the next series we do get two characters who have a pre-established relationship to see how their friendship bloomed and blossomed into like this beautiful friendship even more i mean because it's cute i love learning about you know like machos and Nagas past and stuff it does also make me wish we would learn about subasas and soras but i Dinosaurs? They look like a dinosaur. Like a pterodactyl. Well, we won't know till Saturday, but... <laughs> okay! It, it seems like it's very much going to be a ring focus face episode. And of course, yes, Baby Boy gets good episodes! I love when he gets episodes. Hell, I love when everybody gets episodes. So, I'm happy that he is also getting another episode focused on him. Or just something that it seems like he's going to be the big factor of it. For the leading one. Because this one, of course, yes, was Machido and Agaha based. But really more Machido than Agaha. But still, it was nice for them to go out and to, you know, find out from their memories of how these two met. And yeah, the fact that the tree was cut down due to a typhoon and everything. It just always makes sure. Like, you, you never really know that probably the next time... <sighs> Excuse me. The next time these two do or these five do come back, that tree could be even bigger and blossom into like this beautiful, gorgeous tree that you know they would sit and take another picture of, and they have an even better memory. Like yeah, they got that picture of them, you know, with Sora sneezing and everybody making funny faces, which is so freaking cute and such. It feels like that's very similar to something that the Tropical Rude Girls would definitely do. And so we all know the one that would immediately sneeze or do something hilarious is Manatsu because Manatsu, <laughs> hello, because <laughs> freaking Manatsu is just, she's out there. And that's the one, one of the many reasons why I love Manatsu so freaking much. But, and, and that's why I'm so, so excited to see this dang movie, just to see her and Sora like interact together because those two instant best friends they are so freaking similar to the point that it is not even funny but and then also adding yui to the mix <laughs> they're just the three biggest idiots that you'll love so freaking much like oh my god but still yeah this was a really cute episode and i love the memories that they made in it and the memories that we got to learn 
about Agatha and Machado. And so hopefully we get to see more like that in the remaining episodes that we do have left. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 37 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 38. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.